Hey guys, got another Bible to show you. Uh, this is a rebind I just finished, and uh, it is a Holman um, LBLA uh, Santa Biblia, which is the Spanish equivalent to the NASB, and it's the side column reference uh, edition. Uh, it's a little smaller than the than the English side column reference, but I'll show you when I open it up what, what it's all about. But it's in a uh, uh, burgundy deer skin. Uh, whenever I got this Bible, all I was told was uh, the brother wants it in a burgundy or a, a red cover um, with three ribbons. So basically, I could I could kind of do with it what I wanted to as long as it looked good. Uh, and so this is what I kind of came up with. I'm super happy with this this burgundy deer skin. It is tremendous. I did my mother's uh, rebind of her uh, per, a large print personal size in this same burgundy goat skin, and and she loves it, and I and I love it too. I've been uh, just feeling it as I've been uh, making this cover, and it's just really, really, really soft. This pebble grain is super pliable. It's just it's really, really nice, and you can see on the spine. Uh, I did five ribs evenly spaced on the spine. But you can see the way we do these spines, you, you have to stretch the leather, the cover leather over the spine material. And and this deer skin, those those grains are so pliable that it just stretches so nice and easy. It gives you a lot of definition, a lot of definition around the, uh, the ribs. Uh, so it just looks really nice and crisp on the, uh, the spine, which I love that. And it also lends for some really great corners because the this uh, this leather when you fold it over, it's just easy. It it you can fold it together, you can spread it out, you can really do with it whatever you want to. So there's there's not a lot of rigidity to the corners when you're uh, pleating the corners. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, as we open it, you can see this nice brown uh, distressed sheepskin. And this sheepskin, it, you folks out there in YouTube land, if you have a Bible that has Highland goat skin from Allen, this is really close to it. I mean, this this uh, sheepskin, this distressed sheepskin is is super grainy, but it has that nice soft graininess. Uh, the the difference is this distressed uh, portions of this sheepskin are just like feather soft. I mean, they're just really soft leather. Uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, a lot of really uh, neat uh, kind of characteristics to the leather. Uh, but you can see this, uh, the corner work, I'm not I'm not that good. I mean, I'm just not, this leather is just that nice to work with that it makes my corners look uh, really decent. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, the guy getting this is going to be really happy with it. Um, also, you can see this end sheet that I chose since it's a, a Spanish version of the NASB. I, I kind of wanted, and I hope this doesn't offend anybody, but I kind of wanted to find something that had a Spanish feel to the to it with the end sheet. And this kind of looked, you know, Latin enough for me. You know, I'm just an Alabama country boy, so about as Latin as I know would be something like this, that, that uh, chevron looking, uh, almost weave look. But uh, it, it ended up looking pretty good as the end sheets, and uh, and I'll flip it to the back. And you can see that distressed uh, sheepskin is just really cool. It has some nice firm but soft graininess, and then you get to these pockets of feather soft uh, uh, leather. It's just really nice. You can see the back corners are uh, really nice and tight and, and even if it'll focus. And uh, it, they just turn out really good. I mean, the, the and and really, it's it's because this leather. And I, I don't want to take credit for it because somebody's going to want to rebind and going to want corners looking like that from a, a cowhide, and I'm not going to be able to do it just yet. So, but anyway, uh, and you can see the back end sheet. And um, anyway, the uh, I put in the the four the three uh, kind of wine colored ribbons uh under the headband and you can see that they're nice and long i love long 
uh, long, long ribbons. I think it just looks good. If you ever have to cut and trim your ribbons, uh, when you cut them, please be careful, but singe the ends a little bit or, or put a little bit of, of uh, like nail polish, like clear acrylic nail polish, just a dab on the end and smear it so that those ends won't fray. Just a, just a tip. So anyway, and this, like I said, is a, is the equivalent of a side column reference, uh, the Spanish side column reference. And it, it's actually really nice. It's, Holman did did a really good job. It has nice paper. It's not line matched, but it is. It it doesn't have a ton of bleed through. It does have some. Any side column reference where you have a single column text, uh, unless you have a French mill paper or a forty six forty five GSM paper, it's gonna you're gonna have some bleed through. But this is really minimal. It's it's it looks like a really good bold, uh, good bold print. It's really, really nice, and um, let me see if we can, we're in Mark here, so I'm assuming this is a black letter, because we're in Mark 9, we should be seeing some of Christ's words here, so this must be a black letter edition, and uh, anyway, so it's it's really nice, I, I really like how it's done, and, uh, and I, I like c combining it with the rebind, I'll move it over here, It's uh, it looks really nice. I think that it's going to be uh, going to serve its owner for a long, long time, hopefully. And uh, anyway, if I could read Spanish, I'd, I'd probably try to keep it. But uh, I can't, so no use in me keeping it. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. That is the the uh, deer skin, a burgundy deer skin rebind of the Holman LBLA Santa Biblia. So thank you guys again. Uh, much love. and. Keep on.